Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Pond, thank you for joining us. Now, um, some of you may have heard about this and some of you haven't, but when Dublin Dr. Pepper lost the rights to the Dr. Pepper brand, they had to make some changes. A year later, they did. And now they have more flavors available than ever before, and they want to make sure that it's available in states not like New York because you know a lot of the times those that wanted their sodas would have to drive all the way to Dublin Texas just to get that soda but they don't have to do that anymore in fact if Bob Bartlett can have a grape soda from Dublin Dublin Bottle Works anybody can now And Town Crier now has them as well. And later in June, they're going to start bottling even more flavors to make sure that we have enough available to satisfy those who haven't had anything from them in a long time. Now, now that I got that out of the way, I want to talk to you about a different kind of downside of business. You see, you would go somewhere to order something, like a large tea, and then you find out they don't serve it on a specific day like Sunday. In one 7-Eleven I went to, they stopped doing that on Sundays because nobody was buying them. Now, I understand that sometimes you just have to make exceptions once in a while, but but you got to make something available for everyone, at least at some point. If it's not very busy and nobody's buying it, at least make half a gallon of tea that you don't have to throw away. You can just save some for whoever wants it. I don't care. You just got to know what you can make and what you can't make. When I was working at the subway on North First, we started out sell selling decaf coffee. Only to find out nobody was buying it, so we stopped making it but we still serve coffee at least. But you know, that's just the way it was. But if you have to have something you want at any place you go, it's always good to call the businesses and let them know that you're coming for it. Although you might not have to, but sometimes in order to prevent sticker shock, or more specifically, a business shock, you know, it's best that you let the stores know that you're planning on buying this and what time you're coming in. And that way they know that you're here for that item, and that way you can buy it. Although I don't usually do that, but I think it would be great if I could call and ask them to make it so I can buy it. Now, you know, a lot of times we don't always get the satisfaction that we deserve when we um, go to places that we enjoy going to the most. It's not so much they don't want to do it, it's rather they can't do it because of policies that we may not even know about. You know? For example, the $50 bills and $100 bills, some places won't take anything larger than 20 The flipping egg, however, they're only allowed to take a 50, but they can't take anything higher than that. Because it's a ripoff, because most of the time the $100 bills are fakes, but you don't know that until after the fact, and so it's best not to have those $100 bills. Although one time I found a $100 bill on the ground, soon after I started working at the subway on Lake Road Twenty Industrial, which is where I'm at now. I'm at home right now, but 
that's not the point. It's just the fact of the matter is, I currently work at the same subway where I was when I found the $100 bill on the ground. And there was one story I saw on CNN that kind of bothered me about a dentist with accusations of having an HIV and not telling their patients about it, you know? And then something going wrong with a boy's mouth and the boy forced to live in fear because of something that a doctor had said to him and all that, you know? I say it's just important that you have a medical license for that job that you're doing. Now, we'll be right back after this, don't go away. Welcome back to the show. Now, um, a Home Depot in California um, had to deal with a bloody scene as a man tried to uh, cut his arms off. Here's video from ABC News. The Home Depot in West Covina is closed for business as employees clean up a bloody scene. Police say a customer picked up several saws and began cutting into both of his arms. The witnesses said they first noticed him in the action uh, cutting himself with the saws. Wow. I mean, it must have been a really horrifying sight for us. It surely was. Uh, the scene itself was uh, quite, quite gruesome. As some customers called 911, an off-duty paramedic happened to be in the same aisle and rushed to help. The paramedic suggested that we get some twine and some rags from within the store at which time when they acquired that, both the officer and the paramedic applied tourniquets to both arms, probably saving his life. The man is now hospitalized, and customers are shocked by the whole story. Oh, no, I'm glad I wasn't in there. Oh. In today's time, it's kind of crazy. I mean, how can something like that happen? And that, was, and that report was from abcnews.com. Now, um... That's going to do it for me. I'm Kevin Pilon, host of The Kevin Pilon Show. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care.